Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I'm back in Chicago. I just got back from Italy, and today I'm going on my very first brand trip. I'm literally so excited I could scream. I'm going with Naturopathica, which is a skincare company, and they're so sweet, and they're taking us to Wisconsin at the Kohler Resort. So we're doing a little Wisconsin winter fall. Well, it's fall, but it feels like winter. Get away and doing some meditation, facial yoga. I'm so excited. I literally can't wait. Yeah, if you're new, I'm Lucia. I'm 24. I live in Chicago and I work 9 to 5 in advertising. Welcome to the vlog. It's gonna be such a good next couple of days. I'm so excited to share this experience with you guys. This is my first real brand trip. So I started posting on TikTok like last January, so I've been like a micro influencer for like a year and a half or a little bit over that, almost two years now. Time flies by. I'm so excited. Going on a brand trip was on my vision board for 2023. So I'm so excited that it's finally coming to life. I really can't believe it. I'm so grateful to all of you guys. Let's go. They gave us an Uber code to meet at the Kohler Spa in Lincoln Park. And then from there, we're taking up a shuttle to go. I know a few of the girls that are going because they sent out a list of everyone that's going. And I've met a few of them before. I'm not super close with anyone. So I'm excited to get closer, make new friends and just have a good time. So. Let's go to Lincoln Park. I am like shaking from the amount of caffeine I've had today. I got a large oat milk latte from La Cologne like I always do, but I think the caffeine in Italy is like not as strong as the caffeine here because I like my brain is going crazy. I can barely hold this camera straight. Like it's, I'm shaking. I'm gonna stay off the caffeine for a couple hours, but let's go catch my Uber to Lincoln Park. Yay! Oh my God, you guys. We have arrived at the Kohler Resort. We're staying at the American Club Hotel. They have like a bunch of different hotels here. I just checked into my room. You guys, I'm obsessed. It's giving like the Ralph Lauren store vibes. It's just so cute. It was a fun little bus ride over. Got some work done on the way, but also all the girls on this trip just seem so nice and genuine. So we just had a fun time chatting on the way. I realized I totally forgot to bring a purse for dinner. So I'm just gonna be like carrying all my stuff like a maniac, but we've arrived at the hotel. It's so big. I'm like, this is so big for one person. I just came back from Italy where me and my parents were like squished into a really small hotel room and now I'm like, oh my god, I have all this just to myself. This is insane. I will give you guys a tour of the hotel. Everything is just so cute. I'm so happy to be here. Okay, so let's begin the tour. <laughs> Everything about this place is just so cute. Like, you can tell that they really put a lot of attention in the details, like even the doors. But okay, to give you guys the full layout, so right when you walk in, the room is to this side. There's a closet over here. They have like everything you could need in here. Is safe. I have nothing to put in there. A robe. I love a good hotel robe. Definitely going to be using that tonight. Slippers. Just steamer. And then when you walk over to this side, it's the bathroom. They have sinks galore, which is so key, especially if you're staying with more than one people. Like you need one place to go to the bathroom, one place to do your makeup. Like just having more sinks and mirrors is so key. So this is the little vanity area, full length mirror, which again, so needed. And then you go over into this humongous bathroom. <laughs> this is crazy. So here's another sink. Great little makeup area here too. Oh my God, they have another one of these. Whoever designed this hotel hotel room is for the girls. And then there's this big bathtub and shower situation. Oh my god, I like never take baths, but maybe I should take one tonight. This looks so relaxing. It's humongous. I'm obsessed. And then plenty full of towels, toilet, already used that. <laughs> Not that you guys care. And then this is the room. So there's two beds. So that's amazing. I have one bed I can chill on and one bed I can sleep on. And then, oh my god, oh look at this iPad. It says, welcome, Lucia Cordero. That is so cute. Yeah, so here are the beds. They're already so comfortable. I was laying on it for a second. A couch, TV. They had these little chocolates that I already ate in here. They were so good. And then I think they have like an espresso machine back there. It is so cute. Oh, and then they also have a little balcony, which is kind of wet right now because it must have rained recently but you can open it up and look out into the abyss it's so peaceful <laughs> i'm not used to all this fresh air but yeah that is my little tour of the hotel i'll be spending the night at i just know this is going to be so relaxing like this is just what i needed we have about an hour and a half till we're meeting in the lobby to go to dinner so i'm going to start getting ready just so i'm not going to be like rushed and figure out my outfits. I haven't tried on my outfits yet. I, I just gonna pick them out this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what I'm gonna wear. And I don't have a purse. <laughs> 
All right, I'm gonna start my makeup. My outfit didn't really pan out the way I was hoping it would. I totally should have tried it on before I left, but I just feel like it doesn't match the vibes of the aesthetic of the place that we're at. I feel like the place that we're at is more like wholesome and I don't even know what this is. I got these like polka dot tights, but they're ripped and I didn't realize. And I'm gonna put a leather jacket over this because I feel like it's just, I don't know. This skirt is shorter than I remember, so <laughs> I'm kind of struggling, but hopefully this We'll be okay. I don't know. I'm all ready for dinner. I totally should have packed better for this, you guys. I was literally so excited for it and spent like two minutes packing. <laughs> but anyway, this is the fit. I feel like it doesn't really match the vibes of the place. Like I was saying, like I feel like I'm going out, but you know, that's okay. The turtleneck is Princess Polly. I think I have a code right now, 20 Lucia. The blazer is Pretty Little Thing. The skirt is Princess Polly. The polka dot tights are Express and the shoes are Princess Polly. I like the outfit, but I just feel like the vibes aren't vibing the aesthetic of the hotel, but it's fine. My tights have a run in them, which just is not cute, but you know, that's okay. I think we're all meeting in the lobby in like 15 minutes. So I might go walk around and explore a little bit before, but we'll see. And then when we meet in the lobby, there's gonna be a shuttle that picks us up and takes us to the restaurant. Cause I think it's at like a slightly different location on the resort. The resort must be huge cause they're like shuttling us to and from everything. So, so exciting. Oh, this is the full look by the way. Yay. Oh my god, I was so thirsty and room service just knocked on my door. Apparently they do that every night I mean, this will be the only night that they do it But like <laughs> every night that you're staying here and they gave me these waters while well, they were like Do you want anything? And I was like, I'm parched. I need water. They had waters. I don't know what else they had Um, and then she was like, do you want your chocolates? And I was like, um, yeah <laughs> I didn't realize there were chocolates available and they have these like polar chocolate things even more chocolate <laughs> I feel pampered We back from dinner. I am so tired. I need to do my skincare and go to bed. I've been trying to fix this like weird bug on my computer for the past 30 minutes and I also FaceTime Vicente. So it's like 11.15 and I need to do my skincare and go to sleep. But I wanted to update you guys. Dinner was so much fun. Everyone is just so sweet. It was such a great dinner. The CEO was there and she was lovely. She got like so real with us, which I just really appreciate. Like real like woman to woman advice, which is just amazing. And yeah, I just feel so relaxed. I'm in this naturopathica robe. They dropped off some products in our rooms while we were at dinner. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little unboxing of them. We have this bag from Naturopathica. Obviously we have the robe, which is so comfortable. I hope we get to take this home. I feel like we do. Let's do a little unboxing before I do my skincare. The dinner was delicious by the way. And we went to dinner, let me stay on the itinerary, River Wildlife and it was delicious. I got salmon and they had butternut squash soup, which was to die for so i was obsessed with that it's just fun like meeting other content creators and having like a bit more like quality time i guess to spend together because i feel like at most brand events it's like super in and out and i have like some content creator friends that i you know schedule my own dinners with but it's just fun to have this like allotted time to hang out and i feel like a lot of content creators that i've just like followed online but never met in person before they're just like so genuine to, like how they represent themselves online which is just amazing to see because i feel like people always tell stories about people like not being what they show themselves online and obviously everyone is going to be a little different than how they depict themselves online but like everyone is like seems very true to themselves and just like nice and we just love when people are nice <laughs> i mean obviously so okay this is just such an awkward spot to do my unboxing let me move over here i feel like this room is as big as me and Vicente's apartment. Probably the same size, if not maybe a little bit bigger. The bathroom is definitely bigger. So in this bag, we have, ooh, body butter. I always need more of this. So this is clutch. Carrot seed soothing facial oil. I think they always use that in facials. Oh yeah, they were talking about the brand a lot and they were basically saying how like the products, so Naturopathica started super organically. The founder who was just like really into like holistic, 
skin treatments and she was an aesthetician and like therapist like massage therapist and stuff and so she just like started the brand organically because people just like loved the products that she was using and like the services she was doing so then it just kind of like was like a domino effect from that and so like they're really focused on like their practices and protocols for like facial treatments and like that sort of thing but like their actual products is supposed to be a representation of how you can like take those treatments home with you and like do them yourself because obviously you can't go and get a facial every day i mean <laughs> I wish but it's about like bringing their products like home to you and like doing your own little like ritual at home so i loved that okay this is a hand and body cleanser fun i love the mint vibe this is manuka honey cleansing balm cleansing balms i feel like are having such a moment this year especially on like tiktok and stuff pumpkin enzyme peel that sounds like a facial thing and then this is essential hydrating cream oh my god i need to hydrate my skin so badly thank you naturopathica so much i cannot wait to try them out and then in this other bag there is a candle i can smell it even from the outside of this box and it smells so good this brand is sprig it's a Kohler brand body and linen mist oh my god i need to start spraying my linens i never do that this is a bath bomb oh my god i don't have a bath in in my Chicago apartment, but maybe I should use that tonight. Or no, tonight I need to go to bed, but maybe I should use that at some point. Okay. Oh my god, not me immediately just like getting thrown into the TikTok abyss. This is why I get so distracted. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do my skincare and go to sleep. Alright guys, I am finally headed to sleep. I can't find my laptop charger, which is a little bit concerning because I really thought I packed it. So I texted Vicente to see if it's at home. I hope it's at home, honestly, because it's not in my hotel room unless I just literally can't see because my eyes are blind right now because I do have my contacts out. So yeah, I hope it's at home because if it's not at home, it's definitely not here and that means I lost it, which would be stressful. So anyway, that's a thing for tomorrow. For now, we're gonna focus on sleeping. So good night. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. I just had kind of a crazy morning. Side note, I used this Naturopathica Essential Hydrating Cream and it just feels amazing on my skin. I'm obsessed, but... Okay, before I get into the story, I wanna say I just had an incredible night. The bed is so comfortable. It makes me not wanna go back to my actual bed. And I just had a lovely, gorgeous shower. I'm obsessed with this hotel, but I just had to call poison control because I'm insane. Like, I feel like this would only happen to me. <laughs> I have this cortisone cream that I've been using because I got this crazy rash in Italy. So I've been using this and it looks exactly like toothpaste. Like, this is the toothpaste I brought, like a more travel size version. And I accidentally used the cortisone cream as toothpaste. I realized it like five seconds in. I was like, this tastes so weird. And then I realized what I did and I immediately spit it out. It didn't swallow anything. <laughs> and I rinsed everything out, but I just wanted to like be sure that I was going to be okay because I was Googling it. It was like, call 911. Like, it was kind of freaking me out a little bit there's like this poison control number on the back of the tube so i was like let me just try that i've never had to call poison control before so i didn't know like what it was like but she was really nice she was basically just like what's your situation what's the product and she looked it up for me and she basically was like it's not toxic so like don't worry you might have like some digestive symptoms but like you should be fine so i was like thank god but yeah that was my morning but other than that it's been very peaceful just getting ready i'm so excited for today i'm so excited for yoga i haven't worked out since italy i don't know what to do for makeup this morning i'm gonna just put on some light makeup i guess because we have a lunch after yoga but we'll have some time to like change and stuff but i'm still working from this trip so i want to like probably use the time after yoga to log on to the work day because it'll be like time to do that i'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup i do want to make an espresso though first i need to have some water i just this taste is so weird in my mouth and it's like driving me crazy but i'm so glad i'm gonna be okay that was stressful okay i actually want to really try and 
make some espresso, make some coffee. I feel like this will calm me down even though coffee induces anxiety, but you know, it's fine. I just love an espresso and I don't have one at home. So this is a very exciting moment for me. some water in it first. I'm gonna have this Veluto. Oh no, that's decaffeinated. No, 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 no. Okay, we'll go for this Vivelto Lungo. It's like I've never left Italy. Oh wait, this is totally not even plugged in. She's I don't know. Okay, I give up. There is regular coffee downstairs for this like breakfast. So I think I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup real quick and then just do that. <laughs> Yoga. That class was so amazing. I'm like in my feels and I haven't worked out in like two weeks or like a week and a half because I was in Italy and it was just the perfect yoga class back. Made it back to the hotel. I'm gonna get some work done because we have a bit of time and then it's gonna be time for our lunch break, which I'm really excited for. And when we're going to lunch, we're like checking out of the room. So I have to like get everything and bring it out. So we're gonna get some work done log on and then pack up the yoga class was so healing and there was a meditation at the end and like i love when they use like a product and like push it down on your shoulders and everything it felt amazing all right i have so much stuff to carry i've like multiplied my bags since being here but it's time to go down for lunch i'm starving so i'm really excited we're eating at i think it's called the american club just like the restaurant that's at this specific hotel so i'm excited goodbye room you were lovely to me for the very short while that we were here sad this is such a cute place i really want to come back if i have the chance but yeah let's go eat some lunch dropped off my bags at the front desk and just had a little work call and now we're headed to lunch. so delicious we had this really hearty soup everything about this place is just giving fall i'm obsessed and it's time for me to go get my facial i ended up not doing the hydrotherapy because i forgot a swimsuit because i'm just stupid but that's okay and they had one to be goodbye but i was like it's okay i need to get some work done so time for my facial i'm so excited our facials they were so amazing i feel so rejuvenated i'll recap more of it later but we're packing up and about to head back on the shuttle the bus dropped us off to use the bathroom and we found the culvers i'm so excited i haven't had it in forever so this is such a move the food healed my soul it was so delicious and they have the best gluten-free options <laughs> Hey you guys, just catching up. So it's actually the next day and I just thought it'd be fun to do like a little check-in. Yeah, I just, I can't believe that I went on my first brand trip and was such an awesome brand. I literally love all of the naturopathica products i've been using the hand and body cleanser like i just set it up in my bathroom and it's so nice my hands get so dry in the winter but i feel like since it's hydrating with the calendula stuff i don't know it just really helps my hands i hate having dry hands in the winter and i feel like winter skincare is just so important so that was just such a fun little getaway it was so fun to meet like all of the other creators they were honestly just so nice everyone was super supportive i knew a few of the girls already but i feel like when you go and like have a dinner and stuff and get to a 
sit and chat you definitely get to know people more which is fun and yeah everyone was just so nice and everyone's super supportive like taking a bunch of photos for everyone everyone getting in content all of the girls were just really sweet i guess this is kind of like all about like what it's actually like it definitely is like a work trip like a work event like obviously everything we're doing is so much fun and like it's crazy that that's like a work thing but you're really like building a relationship with the brand meeting other creators like taking lots of content and it's like in the middle of the week so like everyone is still working i mean i was literally working with my full-time job and that at the same time it's really a work trip everyone treats it as that obviously you're going to a nice dinner but like you go to a nice dinner with colleagues when you're doing work too you know and like have maybe a couple cocktails but it's not like you're going out like partying like everyone is very much focused on getting content and just like doing their job people are finishing up like brand deals for other things just like editing their normal content like it's it's a very much a work trip that being said though it is a bit more fun just because it's like it's so cool that we're all there and i feel like all of us are so passionate about our work that it's not like an actual work trip where people don't want to be there like everyone wants to be there it's like voluntary it's kind of crazy staying in a hotel room by yourself like i don't really do that too often i guess because i just haven't really been on too many work trips i feel like that's a thing people mainly do on work trips or like solo travel but i don't really do a lot of solo travel so that was interesting i feel like it's so hard for me to go to bed but i'm alone especially like in a new atmosphere but i really want to go back to kohler and i obviously love naturopathica i'm obsessed with the robe <laughs> that i have now yeah and i'm just so grateful to you guys for watching and supporting my channel and my instagram and tiktok and like all that stuff so that i can go on this i can't believe i went on my first brand trip like literally pinch me this is the worst spot to pinch anyways you guys get the idea but yeah i hope this gave you guys a glimpse into what it's actually like most people probably don't accidentally brush their teeth with cortisone that's probably just a me thing so take that part with a grain of salt but yeah can't say thank you enough i love you guys so much i will see you guys in my next video subscribe so you don't miss it bye